Wow. That, did you hear that? Like, right as I hit record. It, okay, the door locked. All right, so here, here with Adam and... Rachel. You got to talk louder, okay? Or else they're not going to be able to hear you, all right? <laughs> oh. All right, so we just watched Murder on the Orient Express. I got that all right. Earlier, I called it... What was it? I, I called it something stupid, like Midnight on the um, Ornament Excess. Because I don't even know... I don't know what movies are. But yeah, so I avoided all trailers for this. Um, I was, but I was, cause I was excited for it. I was like, oh, it's a cool murder mystery. I'm going to get, there's going to be a twist. There's a bunch of big, oh, I get it. The car's locked. Okay. Um, were you excited for this? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Well, um, <laughs> all right. So one word, I'm going to say three, two, one. And then you say your one word reaction response, like to this movie, like how you felt. Okay. You ready? All right. Three, two, one. Good. <laughs> that wasn't a word. That's not a word at all. I thought it was good. Okay. Um. I don't know. At the first, the first half, I loved because it was silly. It was goofy. It was fun. And like, I don't know. This is. It's a fun little mystery. And like, the detective was the best part. Kenneth Branagh, who I thought was Pierce Brosnan. I don't even know who Pierce Brosnan is. But yeah, Kenneth Branagh, who also directed the movie. By the way, great directing. Fantastic job. Um. Apparently, it was based off a book. Uh, on a really old book. Um, didn't know that, don't care. Uh, but yeah, the directing was great, beautifully shot, and he also acted it, he was the main character, and I loved his performance, I loved... He directed it? Yeah, he did, he directed it. Wow. But I love the main character, I don't remember his name, but I call him Pierce Brosnan in the whole movie. But, um, the director made the movie for me, he was silly, he was fun, he was smart, it, all the dialogue was great, and, um, I don't know, what do you think? I enjoyed more solving the case than I did the movie. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing I watched this with Rachel. who's going to be a criminal investigator one day. There was quotation marks around that. She's actually just going to be a gold digger. But, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I thought it was – I loved the first half, but then when it got serious towards the second half, I was like, I don't really care. And then there was a whole thing uh, – sp- um, wait, so before we go to spoilers, um, just overall, overall, give me your overall little couple sentences review. I liked it. It was pretty. I enjoyed watching it with my eyes, but I don't know if I liked, I don't, I had, like I said, I liked solving it more than I liked watching, because it was like, it was too easy. I feel like it was too easy. Um. Like, predictable, I guess. Okay, but you'd, but you'd spend your money on it, right? Yeah. Again. All right. Not again, but like, you're, you're not mad that you did. I, um, I would go... Oh, man, I really was leaning four, four out of five the first half, but it got boring the second half. So, but like, I'll still, I still was happy I saw it. It was a good time in the theater. I'd give it a three, just cause I don't think there's any chance I'd ever watch it again. There's no way I'm ever gonna. Um, but um, I don't know. It was all right. Three stars, maybe four on a good day. Three, maybe four. So like three point five if you really wanna. But um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed parts of this parts of this movie uh what would you give it out of five i agree today okay <laughs> um uh yeah so we're gonna talk about spoilers now um so leave or don't i don't care uh it was everyone 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 was the killer what no one listens it's literally <laughs> just me i'm the only one that listens to this it's literally gonna be me in 10 years from now going back and being like what did i think about this movie i don't give a shit about no but yeah um <laughs> everyone killed everyone i i didn't like how they were like oh the reveal it's daisy ridley and then they're like nope it's not daisy ridley it's um like the black guy and daisy ridley and they're like nope it's everyone and i i didn't like that like the fake reveal you know what i mean yeah it was too i like he did it and i was i was like no like i was like no it's not her bs move on and then the black guy came in and was like I'm not gonna let you take her down and i was right i was right they had a romantic relationship i was right they did, yeah that was yeah um oh yeah by the way the whole cast did great uh standouts i like jo- uh, we should have talked about this before spoilers uh crap um but um i thought johnny depp was great. I love Johnny Depp. I wish he had more time. I do. I also wish he had he more really time. he really did that character yeah, well. All of his scenes were great. I thought all of them were great. Obviously, Kenneth Branagh was amazing. Uh, made the movie for me. Oh, yeah, by the way, I would love to see a sequel. I would love a little another sequel where Kenneth Branagh is, as I said in the end, like in Egypt trying to solve some Nile case. 
Um, cause he was so, like how he would like, after like the train like derailed and he's like sideways, I don't know how he was sideways, but he just like leans his head out and he's like, are we dead yet? And then I'm like, who are you? <laughs> um, I don't know who else. Daisy Ridley is a cutie that I wouldn't mind seeing on screen. Um, um, Michelle Pfeiffer was, um, good as the crazy lady. Um, who else? Josh Gad was a little bit over the top. Um, I didn't really care about anybody else. Willem Dafoe. I was expecting more from Willem Dafoe. He was really weird. Which was that? Uh, what? The glasses guy. Um, oh. I don't know. What do you think about the cast in general? They were attractive for their lead. They were attractive. What? Like, they really, like, they fit the part. Okay. Okay, I guess. great. I don't really know how to talk. <sighs> okay. So, um, I don't know. Yeah. It, it, it was, it was good. I, I was, please stop. <laughs> the door is locked. We are okay. Um... <laughs> It was good. It was just it was just good. I don't think I'm ever gonna watch it again. Um, you know. I might. Yeah, I, I, if it's your thing to like go back and watch these movies, and same thing with like Happy Death Day. Like Nick was like, "Oh man, I can't wait to go back and rewatch this and see how I I knew who it was." And I'm like, well, "No, nah, I don't really I don't really give a shit. I see how it, who it was, who it was. You know, I don't need to watch it again." I think I want to watch it again just because I'm gonna like I want the more clues maybe. But I don't feel like I'll do that soon. Maybe later I'll be like, I already know who it is. Let me see what I I, I mean, it, I guess it was neat, you know, like, oh, it was everybody. But, like, that's kind of a cop-out, right? I don't know. Um, it was too convenient. Like, I was sitting there, and I was like, it's way too convenient that all these people are related to the one case, and they yeah. they say they don't know each other. What was, was like, up with that Armstrong case? Yeah, and then, like, he's, like, finding out that all of them are involved with it, and I'm like, why don't they the- know each other? Yeah, I'm like, you guys are way too involved to this case to act like you guys don't know each other. I call bullshit. And then, like, it was convenient that each thing that he found came from each person. Like, the kimono came from the sister... And the pipe thing came from that guy. And you, you, you know, the one clue that I had that it was Michelle Pfeiffer was when she got stabbed. I was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. she that means she got firm. stabbed but that didn't con- get killed? That like, oh, it. so that means it would be like, oh, well, if she was her, why would she just stab herself? Like, because it's a perfect there was, alibi. There was no reason to stab her at all. That was what confirmed it. What I knew was when she fir- when we, she was first introduced, she was sucking herself into the case. You know? But like, I, di- I did, well, like, I didn't call it, but I did point that out. In my head, because I just I stopped caring towards the second half. I was like, "This is confusing. I don't know and who the Armstrong family is." And when she talked to Johnny is. Depp, I forgot exactly what she said, but she said something. And something I was about like, how they're all like she's guilty of something, or I don't know. That men men should just keep their like, something like that. And I was like, "It's her. It is. It's her." Oh really? Yeah, I was like done. Oh, I I believe you. Um, how long? How long is this going for? Um, like seven minutes. Okay. Well, um, yeah, good. It was good. That's all I got. Any any last words? Yeah. I'll. G- <sighs> Go see it, maybe. I don't know. Um, definitely see it above Thor Ragnarok, which was a piece of poop. Um, but or and Jigsaw. I haven't reviewed any movies. Maybe I'm just gonna go tonight and like be like, yeah, I saw this a month ago, but Jigsaw was crap. Thor was crap. Um, yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Adam. I'm gonna miss you, bud. Bye.